cry karma in this life like you know our, our hatred or anger that we still have uh, we we have to everything has a root every emotion has a root that's why i was discussing with milan yesterday thought is the first level of creation <coughs> word is the second action is the third before the thought happens there is an inclination happens so if you feel inclined to have hatred with with an object a situation or a person there is a root what brings you that emotion what is making you express that emotion that is a that is that root is from the usually from the past otherwise you meet a person for the first time you get attracted sometimes when you meet a person for the first time sometimes you get distracted you say i just want to go away from here sometimes you feel like that this has got a past root but fortunately when we came to this life the memory of the past is erased why is it erased because it will confuse you in this life so you have to operate objectively in this life not from not referring from to the past or not taking reference or uh, not taking uh, impressions from the past consciously subconsciously it's happening if you start doing it consciously also you will probably be only in the past or a continuation of the past or you will be confused in the present because of the current identity and the past identity so everything has a root which brought you why why do you have a distinct character is nobody else like you because you created your constitution you chose it so you express you are expressing that is why each person has a value in this society some people do not accept it some people undervalue it. some people do not express it because they don't know and all these things are uh, existing i mean actually the value is absolute value exists it is absolute but we as an individual with a limited mind underplays it we do not accept it that is why sometimes we feel irritated with ourselves so the first step to have a beautiful relationship outside is to have a beautiful relationship with yourself you first shake hands with yourself then everybody else comes forward this is not uh, i'm not talking about being egoistic or selfish but accepting yourself with all your weakness and strengths and say that i am i am beautiful i am fine i am all right this is not cheating you i'm not saying this is with understanding like there are certain things you keep chanting and that becomes you that's not what i mean i say that you understand yourself you are definitely perfect and you have created this yourself so this is the way to start and when you move on you will see everything fall falling in place in your life the right people come the right situations happen wrong people will not come because they would not want to mess with you or work with you or collide with you because your energy is different and where did this energy come from accepting yourself that opened all the channels for the energy to happen and children will also happen that way in when you are like that when you have a lot of conflicts and lot of confusions when your aura is small see to handle a higher energy as a child you need to have that kind, that kind of spiritual grounding otherwise it means your womb should be capable of handling nurturing and uh, bringing forth a higher soul for which you need to have spiritual grounding and that spiritual grounding starts with yourself nobody outside can give it to you of course a guru can bless you grace will flow but if you do not accept the grace what is the use you know and when your uh, when your brightness is displayed it definitely it will create an impact in the world you will have better purpose in existence as well you will know why you are here and you will know the purpose and it will be more meaningful to be here otherwise we just live like a animal daily wake up eat go to toilet take bath go out and sleep finish but when purpose dawns 
then it, it, it is much different. Mm.